Now to a Fox exclusive, a well-respected journalist covering the case of farmer bro Martin Screlly puts her life on the line for love, only to be left with an uncertain future by the former pharmaceutical executive now serving seven years for securities fraud. In a television first, Christy Smyth speaks out to our senior correspondent, Laura Engel, who joins us now. Laura, good to see you. Hi, Trace. Good to see you, too. And Christy Smythe, a former journalist with Bloomberg News, made headlines when she went public with her relationship with convicted felon Martin Screlly in an article published last month in Elle magazine. This created quite a buzz. The former pharmaceutical executive is currently serving a seven-year sentence for securities fraud. And the man once dubbed the most hated man in America earned that nickname Pharma Bro after hiking the price of the life-saving HIV drug Daraprim by more than 5,000 percent. And despite his reputation, Smythe told me she not only still loves him, but is still hoping for a future with Screlly when he gets out. He was the villain everybody hated. Christy Smythe was one of the reporters who broke the story of Martin Screlly's arrest in 2015. She says that over time, the two fell in love and that Screlly is simply misunderstood. He's just a very, very eccentric person. It doesn't play well in public, especially in negative light. He is uh, phenomenally intelligent and um, charismatic, but also has no emotional intelligence and very little common sense and is very awkward. Smythe, who was married at the time, says her marriage was already having difficulties and her attention to Screlly only made things worse. But she says she didn't cross the line when it came to covering him. Her former employer disagrees. In a statement, a Bloomberg News spokesperson said in part, Miss Smythe's conduct with regard to Mr. Screlly was not consistent with expectations for a Bloomberg journalist. After I left my job at Bloomberg, and I was kind of on the way out with my hus with my ex-husband. Um, we were planning to split up. Mm -hmm. um, I visited Martin in prison, and I just simply told him that I loved him. And what was his uh, reaction? He said that he loved me too. The two only have one photo together, taken on a visitation day at a federal prison in Pennsylvania. Smythe says the two have shared letters, spoken over the phone and emailed, and have talked about building a life together. He talked about me freezing my eggs. And um, after, you know, he suggested that that could be a possibility, um, I, I said, okay, sure, I'll go ahead and try it. I'll look into it and see about that. And, and I did it, and I'm really glad I did it. Did he say the words to you, I want to have children with you? Yes. But in recent months, the relationship started to break down. The two briefly stopped speaking, but seemed to have patched things up since the L article was published. As for the negative reactions to her telling her story, she says she has no regrets. What do you say to people who say, you've been brainwashed, he's using you, he's manipulated you, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know me and what an incredibly willful and independent person I have been since childhood. Um, and you don't know Martin. Martin is not a brilliant manipulator when you get to know him. Smythe says she also had to confront criticism about how Screlly treated other female journalists, even calling him out for some of the comments he made online and says she doesn't support any form of harassment, but says she believed Screlly saw some of his comments as justified responses. As for what's next, she says they are figuring things out. I would love Martin to get out. I would love him to start working on something productive that helps the world and I'd like to play some sort of role in, in helping him get there. That's that's my dream. <laughs> And just last week, a judge denied Screlly's second request for an early release. He is scheduled to get out in 2023. Now, we reached out to Screlly through his lawyer to see if he would comment on his relationship with Smythe, but his lawyer, Ben Brofman, declined to discuss their relationship. Trace? Yeah, Laura Engel, who has been covering courts and cases for the past 25 years, that was among the most interesting. Laura, always good to see you. Thank you, Trace. Thank you.